In South Texas, ranchers are at war against invading red fire ants. They've tried to introduce the ants' natural enemy in hopes of controlling the menace. Now it's judgment day. Maggots have killed the Trojan ants, completing their transformation. For it flies burst into the world like a zombie air force rising from the dead. These newborn flies will take the battle for Bee County to the fire ants on their turf. Once their wings harden, the flies head for the mineral ant nest. They have only days to live. Not much time to wage a war. When the ants see forward flies, they panic. These ants have never seen their species' mortal enemy, but they're hardwired to react when they do. The ants' terror spurs the flies to mate. Male and female flies couple on the wing. Then, each fertilized female locks onto an ant and attacks. The fire ants respond instinctively, trying to hide or flee as flies sow terror across the nest. Female flies alight, each time slamming an egg into an ant's thorax. This even rattles ants unharmed by the attacks. They race around, pausing by battered comrades. This is how just a few foreign flies can control the spread of red fire ants. Uh, one fly can leverage its effect dramatically by causing the alteration of behavior of, of dozens of other surrounding ants. And this may be the way that they have their biggest effect. The ants are so distracted by the flies, they don't forage, don't care for their nests, don't tend the young. It's how nature maintains a balance for so daunting a creature as the red fire ant. And it's the weapon North America has lacked all these years. <laughs>